All right, so if you're a gamer and you're running just stock Windows, you're absolutely wasting your performance and you could run way better performance if you just watch this video for around five to eight minutes. Basically, this video is gonna be better than 99% of the FPS videos. Time is worth money and I don't wanna waste you guys' time. So just to give you a rundown, I'm Cornel. I own SenseQuality.com and TunePC.com where we have optimized over 10,000 computers just to give them the best FPS possible for gamers. And I'm gonna show you just how to get better performance than 99% of gamers and PC optimizers in less than five minutes here. So let's get straight into it, right? So basically a lot of people like to gatekeep what's actually increasing like FPS and stuff like that, right? Because if they gatekeep it, then they make more money and then you watch more videos and you have to watch like a 50 to 60 minute video of somebody like optimizing their PC and it doesn't work for you for some reason. This video is not going to be that. This is straight to the point, how to get you the most effective performance possible. And if you want more, then you could go to our site there, but try this first for free and see how it works. So the best way, right, to increase your FPS, if you're just a beginner, if you're just a gamer that wants to have the most FPS possible is just to get a custom OS, guys. You don't have to build your own. You don't have to run scripts or personalized or custom scripts to do it. You don't have to download an app to do it because most of the apps out there, they're like absolute crap. You just gotta download a custom OS. So the ones like I recommend is usually like Atlas OS 11, right? Or like Ghost Spec 11, basically they perform exactly the same. This is CSGO right now and it's doing like FPS benchmark test. And as you could see up here, oh, my camera's locking it. Sorry about that, guys. Let me move that out of the way. Boom. As you could see up here, look at the FPS counter. So basically stock windows is at 89 FPS. Atlas OS is at 104. And then Ghost Spectre is actually at 105 FPS there. So basically these two are the top two ones that you wanna download. And I'm gonna provide the links to that below. The Ghost Spectre one looks like this. You would just download the link there, but you also need little USB things. So basically you have to download Rufus. That's the way I like to do it. Short, sweet, simple. Watch a YouTube video of how to use Rufus. That's all you gotta type in. It takes five to 10 minutes, right? And I'm gonna show you that in this video. And you download it here and this will allow you to actually run that OS. Now, if you have any programs that you know you want to save, or if you have any images you want to save, you want to put that like on a cloud or so on like different USB. But the first thing you're gonna want to do is like format your USB because this is gonna completely wipe your system, guys. Just letting you know that in advance. So let me explain why these just get more FPS in general, because 99% of the people that recommend this, they don't even know why this works. Basically, it's just like a car, right, guys? So if you have more people in a car, right, you have a like grandma, you have your children and stuff like that in your SUV, it's going to be heavier and it's not going to be as fast, right? Or let's say that you have like something in your hand. You're putting like multiple stuff in your hand. I have pistachios right here. I'm eating pistachios right now. So I have one pistachio, two pistachios. I could only hold so many pistachios in my hand. And this is like RAM right here. So basically when you take out pistachios, which are the processes on your computer, it's going to allow your hand to be more lighter, more free for the pistachios that you want. That was completely crap. I'm going to cut that part out. But all right. So basically, if you think about it like a workbench, right? Like you have stuff on your table, right? So the goal is to free up the table so you could find the tools that you need faster here. So basically, if you have like a table that has a whole bunch of crap on it, right? You got to look through it. You got to like go through the papers and stuff like that. My desk looks absolutely messy right now. This is exactly what I'm going through. And basically, it takes more resources. It takes more brain power to get to that, right? But if you just had what you needed on the table, for example, like this thing right here, right in front of me, boom, it's that fast. It's in two seconds. Your RAM and CPU works the exact same way. And that's why these Ghost Vector and Atlas OS works there. So you could download it. I'll put links down in the description there and I'll show you how to do it real quick. So you would use something called Rufus. So let me just go ahead and open this back up. Oh yeah, and I forgot here guys, make sure you have your own USB. So you're just gonna go to this. My, my device is called Windows FPS, right? After you format it, I'll show you how to format it real quick. So you'll go right here and you see my device is right here. So I'll go show more. I'll go to format and then I'll just start formatting. Make sure it's NTFS because that's the fastest one. So boom, after you format, you're gonna go over here. You're gonna click on the disk and image select. So you're gonna select what image you want. This is ghost right here. You're just gonna click on this. You're gonna open it up. This is after you download it on their site. And so I'm gonna provide you that link. And basically it's gonna be an ISO file, right? 
And basically what you're going to do is you are going to hit start. Boom. And then you have a whole bunch of options here. So you can remove the secure boot. Amazing. You might not want to do, if you're on Call of Duty, you might want to leave this off here because it actually needs secure boot. Um, remove requirements for an online Microsoft account. Thank God. Uh, create a local account with your username. You can do that here. Set regional options uh, to the same value as this user. Awesome. Disable data collection. Thank God. And disable BitLocker automatic encryption. Amazing. So you just want to press OK there. And you just want to press OK there again. And boom, it's going to do everything for you. You don't have to do anything. All right, so now it's finally done. As you can see, it says ready here. So what we have to do now is you can either go into your BIOS, right, and boot from your BIOS there. Or what you could do is you could go to the actual USB. So mine's right here. And you could see that it says set up right here. Boom. And you could just click on that. And it's going to start setting up your actual windows for you, which is actually pretty cool. So you could see if you want to do a fresh install, right? Or if you want to like your data and stuff, I don't recommend that guys. I recommend that you completely fresh install your system and start from scratch every time that you're trying to do this, right? And basically this is going to set up everything for you. Now the browser I would recommend is Brave Browser just because it's security focused. It takes up a little bit less resources than Chrome and stuff like that. But other than that, guys, the only thing left after this that you can do to your Windows is just some little tweaks like uh, putting on game mode and stuff like that. But th where the money is, is basically for gamers that want more is just overclocking your PC, right? And overclocking, you can't listen to a YouTube video for that, guys. Like, every CPU is different, even if it's named the same exact thing, right? So basically, that's where Tune PC comes in right here where we can help you with that, right? This is just only for gamers that want the best of the best. If you don't want the best of the best, if this is enough for you, because this will increase your FPS, then that, that is completely fine. That's why I'm making this video so you can have it for free. And the other thing that we do is just the internet because it doesn't make sense that you have a very fast PC, right? $5,000, $6,000. What difference is that computer gonna make if you have a whole bunch of latency on the back end of your internet? So basically we help with that stuff guys and you're just gonna go through this setup process here and it should be perfectly clear. You don't have to do much stuff here. You're just gonna press one, right? And then you should be good there. I hope this helps guys and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and don't forget to like and subscribe guys. I forgot to say this in the video, but please just like and subscribe and thank you. You have a wonderful rest of your day.